it's a hello from Paisley. I'm just outside St Mun Park. I'm here to watch St Mun versus Hart of Midlothian. Cup league table just now. Hearts are in third place, St Mun are in fifth. Both teams are undefeated in the last five games. Uh, that win for St Mun was uh, against Aberdeen at home and um, the Hearts last win was against Hibernian. Bricks, the fans bricks. And there's uh, some tributes to, to, to fans uh, passed away. Hey, so just something to be walk around the stadium. I've got the, the, the summer of 2016. Some of the supporters came to get a fund, some of the supporters association called the By the Buds campaign. Very good. So we've got the names of the fans that contributed. Well done. It's a Tony Fitzpatrick family stand. He was a great Sunderland player. I remember him. Right, there we go. Just walking around the ground. Uh, just for those who don't know, um, St Mun uh, has appeared in St Paisley, hence that's why they're called St Mun. Uh, this is the this is West Stand, I think this is where I am. Uh, I'm not sure if it's South or, or whatever, but that's... Uh, that's uh, so it's, there's four four stands at the ground. The main stand is around the corner there. Um, I'll have to check my ticket. <laughs> I'm over there, we fans. Uh, I'm uh, sitting in the... Uh, oh, some Mun fans. I'm a neutral today. I'll be in my best behaviour, honest. So that's the North Stand, with it? Oh, there's plenty of Hearts fans hanging about. I'm, I'm not sure if this is uh, the stand here in the North Stand. I think it might be. Back at the main stand here, uh, they've got uh, some Mun fans council, SMFC 877 Club. And uh, it's called the... Uh, it was it's the Smisa Stadium. Um, well, that's all to say sponsorship reasons. I've no idea how to pronounce it. I don't know who they are. Something like St Mun. What is it? Ah, there we go. St <laughs> Mun Independent Supporters Association. That's it. Well, I think I was reading uh, it was 2009 that this stadium was built, the St Mun Park. Um, they moved from Love Street uh, into a, 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 a purpose built stadium with four stands. Uh, so I'm just waiting to get in. Uh, funny, I, I was speaking to a steward who was telling me that uh, I was, was showing him my, uh, my, my number uh, where I was and as I said, it's a go to we were, we're waiting until they're opening and I said, oh, uh, oh you've got the singing section so I think I'm going to be beside all the singing fans <laughs> oh, well that's good, a bit of atmosphere, that's what you want eh? I've produced a programme for today's match uh, and you've got on the front of it uh, a tribute to Frank McGarvey who sadly has passed away uh, a week or so ago and uh, obviously they've got a tribute to him on the front page of their programme. Uh, there you go, versus Hart and Well, that's my first look at the stadium. There you go, I think that's where the Hearts fans are over there. Is it? No, I'm not doing them. There you go. Oh, we've got, oh, we've got wee flags to put out. <laughs> I think I've got a flag. The big drum there and already in place. <laughs> so we're going to be a noisy seat, but that's good fun, good atmosphere. And that's the Hearts fans uh, gathering over there. Uh, so there'll be plenty of noise from them as well. Yeah, it's going to be a big crowd. Right, and there's Frank McGarvey there, Ali Stark, you remember them? Uh, Campbell Money, he's a goalie, yeah. There we go. Probably have a combi. Yeah. 
2005 was immortalised in his song Hall of Fame. Frank will forever be remembered as Simone and our deepest condolences are with his Frank's loved ones at this time. Back to kick off, please stand if you're able to do so for a minute of pause as we pay our respect to Frank. This begins on the sending of the referee's whistle. I gave me two halves my usual prediction.
Ended up some amazing game. The recent one should have been a bit three and a half by half time. And I was thinking as half came into the second half there and started to uh, get a lot more of uh, the game. Uh, someone would have rude that um, these missed opportunities. Um, maybe one of was a fair result. It was, I did that. I mean, hearts were pretty rubbish in the first half, but the second half they were better. Um, had different chances. But an interesting game. Leave you with the league table. Uh, St Martin have proven a very difficult team to beat at home. Uh, they have gone down us a, a bit because uh, Livingston won and uh, Aberdeen have closed the gap in Hearts, who are still in third place. Thanks for watching, and I'm going to leave uh, with some photographs again on my trip to Paisley. <laughs>